folks, this is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice, coming to you from Beaver Dam Campground. It's a Corps of Engineers Park uh, in the National Forest, Kitsachi National Forest, here in northern Louisiana, uh, just about five or ten miles north of Minden, Louisiana. It is a uh, early December day, and uh, it is a little bit chilly down in the uh, 40s, 30s at night. But overall, a really nice sight here, as you can see in the background. We are right here on the lake, uh, part of uh, the Canyon Lake Campground System. And uh, we'll spend a little time here and give you just a little bit of look uh, as we uh, make our way around the, the campsites. Uh, we have another YouTube video that has a more detailed review, so uh, you can take a look at this one for what it's like in the, the winter time. The other review that we posted uh, uh, earlier this year is of the springtime view of the campground. So uh, anyway, stay tuned, check in, uh, subscribe, like, give us comments, feedback, and we would appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. So we are situated here at uh, campsite number 11. Here it has uh, one, one loop open during the winter time here. And uh, campsite number 11 here is a back end site, decently long back end site for our uh, 29 V Bud Wildwood as well as our truck. And I'm going to pan around here to the left. And nice thing about this side, it is uh, very peaceful, quiet. There are no neighbors uh, to the left or to the right of us that you can see. Barely through the woods over there, there's another trailer. But it is a nice serene setting here right on the lake with a couple of trails that come right off of our campsite here and walk down uh, to the lake. And we're going to take a walk, walk down this one real quick just to give you a little bit of, a, of our view. And we'll check out the possible fishing spots for later. As you can see, we're situated on a nice, calm little inlet of the lake, a smooth lake. And, uh, we'll have to give it, give our uh, fishing skills a little test here in a moment. Probably a lot more fishing than a lot of catching, but uh, anyway, overall nice sight. You can see it's just down from the camper. Now we're on the other trail leading out from our campsite. And it comes on, on around here, gets us down to the lake as well. So uh, overall, site 11 uh, gives you good access to the water and some great views of the lake as well. I believe this trail will come to a fork here in the trail. The left fork takes us on back to this other campsite here. You can see the little trailer back in there. And our main trail carries on out to a little point here on the lake. suspected uh, on this cool evening late afternoon <laughs> got a lot more fishing in than actual catching so we'll get a little bit longer and see see if we have any luck here but if not but still a good day here on Cane Lake in northern Louisiana
beautiful sunrise coming up at Beaver Dam Lake on this chilly morning. A little fog on the lake. Overall, quite, quite peaceful here. We've enjoyed our little stop here, a little respite here at Beaver Dam Campground. And uh, so feel free to like and comment on this review, ask us questions. But for now, that uh, wraps things up and we're on the road again, heading westward. Next stop, Texas. Doing one of the routines here, filling up with fuel, try and support the brand here, filling up with Synergy Fuels at Exxon or Mobile. Uh, and as I'm on the stop, I'll do my little uh, walk around and then we'll be on the road again. So, on the road with Fred and Ethel. Uh, this uh, likely last travel day of the 2020 season here uh, in mid December. Looking forward to another great season next year. I always do a little walk around at every fuel stop, just checking to make sure nothing else has uh, come loose and has really jiggled and bounced around the road. Check the tires, looking for a visual inspection here of uh, anything we might have picked up along the way. Make way around the back. Even though I can't see it in the camera, I just want to make sure that uh, everything is still secure here. Give it a little shake and it's solid. And we do another check underneath. Everything looks good. Another visual inspection of these tires and the suspension. All good here. Check the connections, make sure they're all good. All looking good here on the truck. And we're on our way. Well, after uh, a few thousand miles and a couple of months, we're back home with Fred and Ethel and now comes the the fun of emptying out and cleaning up and getting it ready to be put away for uh, a month or so for our winter, <laughs> as uh, well as uh, a few touch-ups and repairs. I'll uh, speak to those uh, later. So uh, stay tuned and uh, while we, uh, I go and uh, help unload. Well, after two years, the uh, anode rod is still in uh, Pretty decent shape. It's got quite a bit of life left on it, so uh, we're gonna flush out the uh, hot water heater tank and then put the anode rod back in for another season. <laughs> <laughs> 